Hello, welcome. My name is Adam. Hello, fellow captains. Uh, I've got top tips, which I want to go through in a second, to really help improve your sim's performance and your computer's performance as well. <laughs> So we're just waiting for um, P3D to load up. Um, the reason it's taken so long is because of something I'm about to go through with you now. Um, I'm going to leave it a few minutes though. It's really going to help improve your sim's performance um, and also your computer's performance. I mean, you can see how low, slow this is taking to load. <laughs> you know, this is taking forever. Um, but we're really going to improve things. And it's a simple fix, really. A really simple fix. And it involves... Your task manager okay I don't know if you can see it already on what it is here but it involves your task manager and kind of fix windows there is a glitch in windows and uh, they haven't really fixed this and I don't know why but we're gonna fix it today okay I'm gonna show you a very powerful task you can do very simple as well and don't need to be a computer whiz to be able to do this to help fix windows and improve your flight sims frames and performance and prevent it from crashing as well. I'm sure you've had uh, times where you've loaded up, you've gotten in your flight and then suddenly it's crashed, you know? Um, and it's a very simple fix for it as well. So, um, I mean, this is taking forever to load and the reason it's taking forever to load is because of this, right? My memory, okay? I've disabled this of, of the fix that I've applied and um, it's now taken forever to load up this flight sim um, and that's because my memory I mean I've got 16 gig of memory in my computer which is plenty you know um, plenty but as you can see here where it says cache 5.9 gig now cache memory is just temporary we've used it shove it somewhere um, and it should clear it. It should, you know, it's only going to clear it um, if I close the application and the application clears the cache. You know, kind of like your cookies, I guess. I don't know. Um, but that should clear on its own, really, um, for a smooth flight sim, for a smooth PC performance, really. Um, let's see here. Cache memory there. Look at that. 5.3, 5.5. It's going up. Um, that's, a, that's an issue with Windows 10, that is. That should clear, right? And uh, what happens is when your memory clears, obviously, you know, right now I've got 10 gig of my memory devoted to running various things on my PC, you know, and uh, five of it is cached, and it's kind of like it's locked out. You can't use it type of thing. Um, imagine if I was able to utilize that memory in with the SIM, you know? Um, basically, your memory would never, you know, f like fail you effectively. You would have more memory to load various other things within the flight sim, you know. So, like at the moment, this is taking forever to load. This is um, now there is something you need first, actually. There's something you need to download, uh, which is pretty easy, which is the program we're going to use. So, I'm going to put, uh, let me get this up on the other computer. I'm going to put a link in the description below um, where you can go and download the uh, this program here okay to your computer uh, go to your C drive into your program files uh, I've called it empty stand lists okay and just put that program in there and that's it that's all you got to do very easy it's not going to harm it's not a virus um, it's not going to do anything except for what you ask it to do right now but, uh, my memory is being gobbled up by the cache okay it hasn't cleared it it hasn't emptied the cache so that's gonna uh, just as I fly as I continue to fly and I'm loading and I'm doing things uh, more in the memory as well that's just gonna cause a problem later on it's gonna slow down and my frame rates are going to begin to drop down to the 30s you know and even lower as I take off and go off somewhere and maybe even to a heavily populated area like Birmingham I've got UK 2000 Birmingham in there, so my frame rates are just going to you know, plummet. So there is a way that we can help Windows 10, 
okay, to say, listen, get rid of the cache every now and again, just clear it for me, please. You know, free up my memory for my flight sim. And it will enable you to have a smoother uh, sim performance or sim experience, sorry. Uh, it will help you to gain or rather keep those frames, you know, that when you first load up the sim, you get loads of frames per second, but then you start to fly and they start to go down a little bit, you know? It's because your memory isn't clearing the cache. Now, it's a very simple thing, and I'm gonna go through with you step by step right now, okay? It's something that I'd already done, and I've just stopped the service for now, okay? But um, it's a very simple thing, um, very easy to do, and we're gonna do it now. Um, so what we need to do is go down to your search bar, okay, and just type in task, okay? And um, if you've ever opened it, it's the task scheduler, okay? Um, if you've ever used it, maybe you've used it, maybe you haven't, it's, it's very easy to use, okay? And um, we're going to go to create task, okay? So you just click on create task. And uh, like you can call it anything you want. I've called mine empty memory, okay? Because that's what we're gonna ask it to do. We're gonna ask it to empty the memory. So, um, yeah, in fact, you know what? I'm just gonna do another one. I'm gonna clear my old one. Where is it? Empty memory. We're gonna delete that uh, and we're gonna do a new one, okay? Right, so create task. Uh, we're gonna call it empty memory. Right, because that's what it's going to do. We're going to give it the highest privileges, and it's going to be hidden. Okay. Um, doesn't mean you don't really need to put in the description. You can if you want, but it's it's not really necessary. Um, as long as you've got uh, your your change user group, um, and as long as you've got the 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 desktop name, you're you're good to go. But go to find now and scroll all the way down to system because it's a system program that's going to do this okay okay which is uh, and again go to uh, change user groups um, where is it go to advanced and make sure it's uh, system you know make sure you click system and that it's system enabled okay um, definitely needs that so it's in the system right um, we're going to go to triggers, okay, we're going to go to new trigger, and we're going to set it on a schedule. So today, um, I'm going to set mine to 10.30 is the time, 10.30, 10.15 is the time now. I'm going to set that to 10.30, so it's going to automatically do it, okay, and you want to repeat task every um, five minutes, ten minutes, either one, um, five minutes will do me and you want to do that for a duration of indefinitely so it wants to continue to it never wants to be uh, expired basically so it's going to start today today is the 12th and it's going to start at 10 30 and it's going to do it every five minutes and it's going to do it forever okay that's that okay so the action right now this is the program this is what we're asking it to do so we're going to start a program okay you go to browse and you go to that uh, empty stands list, right, on your C drive, in program files, empty stands lists, and click on it and open, okay? And that directs your schedule, your task schedule that you're creating to that program, okay? And click OK, right? Um, and all you gotta do is click run. So I'm just gonna show you my cache aid memory 4.4, 4.2, blah, 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 right? We're gonna click run on it, and look at it, it's just deleted the cache, completely gone now. Now my flight sim is going to maintain them 55, 60 frames that we were talking about before, and as that builds up, in five minutes, it's gonna go back down again, okay? Um, it's gonna clear it again, um, and it's gonna do it every five minutes for as long as this computer is on. But uh, for today, thanks for watching. Let me know. Let me know what, where you want me to fly and I shall make it so. A Cessna 172 and I've got a Cessna 182. So really, we, like I can take the 172 to Australia and we can fly around there. I can take the 182 to places like South America or even bits of North America. 
and we can fly it around there and um, see what's happening, see what's cracking. Um, have a great, have a great flight on your next flight, guys. And I'll see you for captains. Take care. Bye.